it's time for us to get some lunch. There's a nice buffet for us to enjoy it. And I've got Virtus Pro's Yakinda with me. We're just going to have some food, chat, and talk about the major because it is your first time, mate, as well. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm right. really excited. Let's get our grub on first and let's keep moving and see what we can get. Now, the thing is, right, you know from events, actually, the food selection here is banging. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> really insane. I already told you, but like, this is the best food I ever tried on uh, any tournament, any tournament. Uh, I'm thinking about between healthy and good, <laughs> between healthy or getting french fries. <laughs> hey, I'm on camera, I'm definitely going to pretend to be healthy. <laughs> what do you drink? I'm going to go with an orange juice, man. I love this little tablet thing. This yeah. is well fancy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you having? Orange juice, obviously. Oh, you can do good apple man. apple good. juice is for noobs. Yay! You went for the salsa sauce, I went for the brown sauce. Mm. I went for the chicken, chicken is the best. Oh yes, yes. chicken's the way to go. Mm. So, well, this is your first major. Major being the competition everyone wants to get to. When you guys qualified, when you knew you qualified, did it kind of finally sink in and hit you? As I think about it, I never really understood that we qualified for the majors. Oh still, wow. I guess, until like, until the first games and, uh, do you know, as you play in a team that is always, ha uh, like around top 10, yeah. uh, you get used to playing in the best tournaments and uh, for me it was just expected for ourselves as a, as a team and as, a, as like five players. And in terms of like, obviously where you come from and you speak such good English but you also speak Russian as well, was there ever a mindset for you like you might join an English international team or had you always had your eyes kind of set on being on a CIS team? Mm. At the start of my career, like uh, I first joined uh, Elmes Pro Gaming, mm -hmm. I was playing with local like Latvian teams. Yeah. Then I joined uh, Elmes Pro Gaming where Hooch invited me. So I was in the CIS and I had no so opportunities in you. Yeah. yeah. But then after when I left Elmes Pro Gaming, I had different offers from EU, but uh, still I accepted CIS offers. Very early on in your career to where you are now. You've always been very humble, very down to earth, very chill. Why do you think that is? Because obviously there are some players and they reach these kind of heights and they kind of lose a bit of themselves. And I think it's really important that you try to kind of stay real and stay who you are. Mm. I think I've been through it already in ta Taekwondo scene mm. when, I, when I was fighting. My man, Taekwondo, best yeah. martial art, best martial art. <laughs> so when I was fighting, uh, okay, you win, you win tournaments, you win tournaments, you win tournaments, and then, then one day you wake, wake up in a hospital with a broken nose, <laughs> like, yep. I, like I did. Yep. So, then when, when when something like that happens, everybody, everything just clicks in your head. You're, mm -hmm. You always understand that everything is possible in your life and you should never be, uh, how, how do I say it? Not cocky, but like ungrateful for the things you have, True. you know? Now, obviously you spent a lot of time playing this online era, right? You've not really had the chance to enjoy the big events, the big flashing lights and stuff as much. How do you find it though? Do you feel like the online era didn't really affect you because it was just like, okay, I'll just play, it's just continuing? Because obviously we saw a lot of players start to struggle when we went to this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm actually really sad that I joined the top tier team uh, on the online era mm -hmm. because I missed a lot of opportunities, a lot of tournaments, a lot of, a lot of traveling, which I really love and enjoy. And uh, most importantly, the crowd, um, mm -hmm. no stages. I never, uh, I never really played on a big stage. But I don't think online actually helped me to play good or something, something like that. I've been to uh, more smaller tier two lands uh, in different countries and uh, I felt great. I think the crowd and the stage energizes me and, nice. and not the other way around where it, uh, when, it, when it, takes, it takes my energy, you know? Now, talk about VP to me. Talk to me about the inner workings of VP. What are some of these guys like? Who's the funny one on the team? Who's the one that's loud? Or what do these guys like doing? Basically, Jay, the most hardworking, mm -hmm. uh, really smart, uh, really smart, really hardworking, uh, plays a lot, thinks a lot, yeah. and helps a lot uh, around his team. Uh, Buster, the guy that always uh, brings the calm atmosphere in the team. Nice. He never really... I can see that in him, you know, yeah, when you yeah. see him just at events and media day and stuff, yeah. he just chill, doesn't say too much, Yeah, but he very never, cool. never screams, never... He's like, nice, nice. <laughs> nice, but <Nice. laughs> And uh, Kickert and me are similar in that way. We both have... Uh, we're emotional players and uh, we're the 
high ping power of our team, I would nice. say. And uh, Flit, he's just, I would say he's the type, uh, like me and Kicker's type of a guy. Okay. Yeah, so basically. So we got the third hype map. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, we have the third guy who just thinks, okay, I'm just gonna go out and kill him. <laughs> and he goes out and kills three. And uh, that's the thing we need in, my, in our team. And uh, when you have all players that can multi frag, that can perform, that can clutch out any situation, it just feels different. Mm. Uh, it feels that every gap is closed and it um, feels really nice last event you were still playing with Sanji so what do you say is the toughest thing for you guys to do right now we can do anything uh, we can achieve anything we want at this tournament we can achieve anything we want in the future uh, with this lineup uh, everybody understands our potential mm. and uh, we don't have a goal like get to the stage or something our goal is to win and I think the, at this major at this uh, at this time we are almost in our best shape at the moment Nice. Okay, so the eyes are set on winning, right? Like every team should be, but some teams, like you say, they make a decision and say, I want to be to this stage. And then they kind of be, oh, okay, we've done this part, you know, we've done our job. For you guys, winning is the key. But for you as an individual player, have you got some specific goals or something you've set aside? Like, I want to be top five in the world, best player in the world. I want to be this MVP player or something. No, <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't care if, I, if my team wins, mm. I will do anything to win and uh, my personal results don't really that matter. If I, if, if we're the best in the world and we yeah. win tournaments, then I'm, go I'm doing great. I'm doing the best I can. If we're starting to lose, then yes, of, of course, maybe I'm playing bad uh, or I, I need to rethink something, uh, my own individual like plays or something, doesn't matter. But uh, being a best player in the world, I don't really want or enjoy that. Mm. I think when you're playing a competitive game, a team game especially, the most important thing is to be the best team in the world, not the best player in the world. Literally, we're sat just to the side of the arena, right? This is where you should be playing from, Mr. Champion, right? To take down the other teams. Does that start to give you any extra nerves or pressure at all, or is it just completely still out of your mind? This will be energizing. This will be nice. This is like a drug, yeah. for real. It's adrenaline, you feel nice, you feel good. You want to play. You live to play, and at this point, when you're in this stage, or in any different big stage, that's when you understand that your life is the game, and uh, that's the best, best feeling ever. Definitely, definitely. Well, you kinder, I always love Chanchi, man. You definitely got a good mindset, a good head on your shoulders. I'm very excited to see what you guys can do. We are seeing the peak at the right time. I'm excited to see what Flick can do as well, change up in the team. You know, you get that like new team smell that's going to be coming through. Maybe you'll have that chance of getting that champion dream you want. Let's see how you get it done. But thank you very much for joining me for some food. Thank you. Some good eat. It was really good. Really I'll good. see you during the games, mate. Thank you.